Now, what about the fear? What about the anxiety, the anxiety that has been in you? Uh, for many people, it's in the background most of their lives, some fear, some anxiety. And when they're being challenged as now, the anxiety that is a kind of background, distant background noise for some people is almost always there, but sometimes obscured, but then it's there again, that suddenly becomes uh, very pronounced, this anxiety in the face of a challenge, the anxiety that had already been there in the background, the fear, that now comes out fully and you are in the grip of it. And now you become aware of the link between your thought processes and your emotions. And you realize that your unconscious thought process, such as worry, actually fuel the emotion that we call fear or anxiety continuously. So a vicious circle arises and then the emotion that you feel, which you feel it, it this anxiety lowers your immune system on the physical level. They even even mainstream medicine recognizes the fact that what they call stress, which in a, stress is mostly fear and anxiety, uh, makes you much more, uh, in, lowers your immune system and you're much more susceptible to illness. It doesn't mean if you're not anxious, you will never catch an illness, but you're much more susceptible to, to being sick when you are in an almost continuous state of stress or anxiety. So then the, the fear, of course, rises up back into your mind and creates more emotionally charged fearful thinking, which is not just fearful thinking, it's now emotionally charged fearful thinking. And that creates even more of that emotion. This is why it's, it's called a vicious circle. The fearful thinking feeds the fearful emotion with energy. The, the, one could say the fearful thinking vibrates at the same frequency as the fearful emotion. So it is food that the emotion loves. So it, it, it wants more of it. Once you're under the grip of worrying, anxious thinking, you don't want to stop. Well, you might want to stop, but you're not even there when you're completely identified. It does not want to stop. So you are trapped in a fearful, this fearful, vicious circle of emotion, fearful, well, start, fearful thinking, creating fearful, the emotion of fear and the emotion of fear rising back up into your mind and creating a emotionally charged fearful thinking. And when you are in that state, you cannot think clearly whatever thought that arises, what do, I, what do I have to do now? What can I do now? It's very unlikely that you will have a creative and a useful thought. Whatever your action you take on the basis of fearful thinking it is likely to be uh, not wise, not effective, and probably wrong, and leads to more suffering. Whatever whatever in whatever way you interpret the world through the veil of fearful thinking in whatever way you interpret the world when you're in the grip of fearful thinking is going to be a complete misinterpretation but to you when you identify with it it's the reality so the first thing is to become aware of thoughts and emotions and then so the, let's the, that means the awareness is has arisen it's there then once you recognize the futility and destructive nature of certain types of thinking you are able to increasingly let go of it and replace it not immediately necessarily with positive thoughts but it's better to, uh, because you still have the negative emotion there. So if you immediately replace 
the uh, unconscious fearful thinking with positive thoughts there's a conflict between the emotion that is still there which is the fear and the thoughts that are floating on top there and so and you will feel that there's something not right because the emotion says you're in a critical state and your mind has a thought that oh, all is well the life life, um, life is good i'm going to be abundant uh, it's unlikely that this will be effective <laughs> so again realize what kind of thoughts go through your mind recognize the futility and destructive nature of these types of thought and then replace these thoughts not immediately with uh, positive thoughts but with awareness replace instead of engaged in negative thinking be more present as much as you can be more in the present moment because after all that's all there ever is the mind doesn't seem to know that all there ever is is the present moment there's nothing else ever in your life so you might as well give it some attention you might as well make it the focus of your life because that's that is it unfolds in this now moment everything future never comes it's always now when the future comes it's the now when the past happened <laughs> it was the now when you remember the past you remember it now when you think about future you think about it now there is only now so you might as well give it your fullest attention make it the focal point of your life and then see what you can do with the so-called future <laughs>